Hi, hello. I was invited to a great Gatsby party and I need an outfit, so let's make that outfit. I had this dress that was flapper-esque that I bought in 2019, just in case I happened to be invited to any sort of 1920s themed gathering, uh, but I didn't quite uh, like how it was so like grandma-like, so I decided I needed to jazz things up a little bit. I need to make things the bee's knees. So I started on my five day long quest of making this dress more flapper-esque. Ooh, that rhymed. Um, so first and foremost, I started by making the neckline straight, uh, and then I pinned it onto my dress form and kind of just tried to get it to look how I wanted it to look. Uh, here, I'll put up a f I, I think I already put up a photo of what my sketch was gonna look like. Uh, but I had this idea of what I wanted it to look like, and I was gasifying it to my best extent of my abilities. And it was going pretty good. I will say, I will say, <laughs> don't sew trim onto a heavily beaded material. It's difficult. But here's what the bottom part of the little frills and fringes I edited, uh, not edited, added on. And then on day two, I realized my uh, defeat where I was going to have to hand sew all of the frills on, except for the ones on the bottom hem. So I started my middle seamstress arc sewing like Erica from the Princess and the Popper so, so much. Um, <laughs> so, so much. Okay, that, that was kind of funny. By the time I finished uh, sewing the first little like pieces of trim, I was already irately angry because I hate uh, hand sewing and I didn't want to do it anymore. But by the end of day two, I had sewed on some lace for the neckline. I think that could have been day three if I'm being honest. It blends together and uh, I'm really bad at doing things chronologically. Uh, because I just am. I, I hate hand sewing, but here's what the neckline looked uh, by the end of day three, question mark? I don't know. But I added some more of the white lace that I used for the sleeves, and this is what the little arrow things that I was talking about earlier looked like. They're so cool. I really like them. I think they're dynamic, like car stripes. Okay, here we are. It is the day before. Got my gloves. I only have one row of tassels left, so so close to the end and then i need to make my headband and here's blake let's go work on it more uh now why am i hand sewing even though i hate it so much is because i need to be the great gatsby i need to be jay gatsby why because i told my hairdresser to cut my hair like i was 90s leonardo DiCaprio, and she did it and i feel like i need to embody all of his roles even though i just entered his dating range yes i'm 18 leo you can date me but i don't want to date you haha <laughs> because you're like 40. and if you're painting fabric uh with acrylic paint mix it with fabric paint so it'll work correctly yeah mm -hmm. almost done but I'm going to circle K. And because I look like a little boy all of the time, uh, I feel like I need to put on a little hat to really, really, really bring it together, boys. Ah, uh, yes, I do love going to the gas station, Circle K. Okay. Now it is time to make my purse and accessories. Uh, first I start off with this gray purse my mom got me, because uh, she thought it would look good with uh, my outfit, and I am going to paint it blue. Now I made the foolhardy mistake of priming my item I was painting with white, because if I had just painted it with the blue, it would have been the perfect color, and I would have had to use less layers, but because I primed it, it was a brighter blue than I wanted, and it didn't match the dress and it was all around painful because when I looked on the bottom the one place I didn't prime it it was the perfect blue that I needed and it was just a devastating experience so uh that being said test your paints on your fabric before you commit to priming it or anything or not I don't care it's your life not mine um and then after I painted it I um realized it is the exact same color that I needed uh, was a Pepsi Blue, and I love Pepsi. It is delicious to me, especially the stuff with real sugar. I find it mm, 
so scrumptious. And I'm actually drinking one right now. Okay, great. Uh, and then I add tassels, but of course, because I'm lazy, I just set the tassels there and I hot glued them on the next day. Uh, when I was gonna glue when with the uh, with the yellow layer, I cut it in so it looked like an arrow, and because I thought it was cool, and literally no other reason, I just thought it was cool, and it did look cool. And everyone said, wow, Ellie, you are so cool. Then, no, they didn't actually say that. No one said that. They just said, wow, you look so nice. And I just said, thank you, in my little work voice, because I get nervous around people. <laughs> Next up, we have a headband. For my headband, I used leftover feathers from my Filza cosplay. I painted one gold and blue, and then just painted the, like, stems of the other two gold, because I thought it was a fun contrast. And I used some of the lace that I used on my neckline and for my straps. Wow, I'm really tying the whole design together. And I took this black fabric, uh, not black fabric, <laughs> black ribbon. It was actually red, and then I painted it black, and then I weaved it in and out through the lace because I just thought it looked cool even though it was very time consuming and then I hot glued buttons on it. Now for a more period accurate look I made sure to put my uh, headband like on top of my hair instead of just like straight across my forehead like you can see on screen now just because I thought that was a fun touch but you don't have to do that you can do it however you want. But now with all my rambling out of the way let's get to the grand reveal of this dress. Mm -hmm. 